A beautiful night under the stars, sleeping here. You couldn't ask for anything more. So today we've woken up, started with some bacon and eggs cooked on the fire. We're about to saddle up and head up to Cooktown, which I'm really looking forward to. It's a really historic part of North Queensland. One day in and we're thick as thieves. Just a great bunch of guys and girls. Well, one girl, Em, who's putting us all to shame with her skills. At the end of the day, it's just fantastic to sit around the fireplace and share some stories. gold mining area in the early 1900s. There were hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people here, Chinese market gardens, this was the town. And all the mines that fan out all through the countryside here were um, going like mad. They were getting lots and lots of gold. Oh, boiler. We're in the Maytown gold fields, richest gold fields in Australia at the time. Way back when, obviously, it was running and operational, it would have been incredible to not only be out here in the middle of the night and not see anything, what they went through in the, in the time it was operational, it was incredible. And there's a big hole on the other side. No joy for any uh, prospecting nets, for sure. All the gold's over here, mate. All the gold's over here, exactly right. Hey, Em, can you uh, tell me? <laughs> I don't really want to talk about it. You told me this morning that you weren't going to fall off today. Oh, terrible today. I've nearly crashed so many times. How about when I nearly tucked the front, actually? You got that one, and then ran wide, missed the corner, down the bush. Oh, no! Where are you going? The track's that way! and then bend it in the water. I'm not having a good day. Hopefully I can redeem myself tomorrow. Yesterday was awesome. Today just keeps getting better. Um, yeah. We've just had this beautiful stretch of windy road. There's a bit of rain overnight, so it's not super dusty. You can just fang it. <laughs> like, it's just been um, ABS off, traction control off, just getting sideways around the corners, and it's been really fun. What's going on here? Out of fuel. No fuel. Almost 
made it to the petrol station. Bloody good place to run out of fuel. How good is this? A couple of hours of riding in the red dirt, and we get to Isabella Falls. <laughs> the boys with the provisions. I'll tell you what, day two, what a day. I don't know what, we did about 280 kilometres. We had a bit of everything again, dirt, sand, fun, really everything. It feels like we could become much more tropical now, sort of back in the Daintree kind of feeling. I reckon that, that first hour was probably the most fun I've had on tour so far. It was just lots of twists and turns. You could really play with the bike and get it sideways. Roy and his team have just created this incredible first two days. So day three, I, I really don't know what's in store because it just keeps on getting better and better. So I think tomorrow is the big one.